Have you ever been told that your kidney disease is irreversible? What if I told you that it doesn't have to be that way? Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that could change your life, how to reverse kidney disease, even up to stage 5. According to the National Kidney Foundation, over 37 million Americans suffer from chronic kidney disease and many believe their only option is dialysis or a transplant. But there's hope. Studies have shown that with the right lifestyle changes and treatments, you can improve your kidney function and potentially reverse damage. Imagine reducing your creatinine levels and improving your GFR numbers without the looming threat of dialysis. By watching this video, you'll discover six powerful steps that have helped countless others not only stop the progression of their kidney disease, but actually improve their kidney function. These steps are backed by science and real-life success stories. Stay with us until the end, because you won't want to miss these crucial insights. By the end of this video, you'll have the knowledge and tools to take control of your kidney health and see real improvement in your GFR numbers. Let's get started on this journey to better health. Let's dive into what I consider the most powerful superfood in the world for boosting your GFR. This is a favorite among vegans, as it's one of the best plant-based sources of iron. It also boasts an incredible calcium content with over 26 times the calcium found in milk. But that's not all, this superfood is packed with essential vitamins crucial for those with kidney issues, including vitamin B1, B3, B6, as well as folic acid, vitamin C, and more. Are you intrigued yet? Step 1. Spirulina Yes, I'm talking about spirulina. This superfood is a game changer that I always include in my diet, and I highly recommend you do the same, especially taking around one teaspoon before bed. Why? Let me tell you. First, spirulina can significantly lower blood sugar levels, which is a massive benefit for those with diabetes. But that's just the beginning. Spirulina is also a powerhouse when it comes to controlling blood pressure, reducing cholesterol levels, and even aiding in weight management. Numerous studies back up these incredible benefits, making spirulina nothing short of amazing. Researchers attribute spirulina's kidney-protecting magic to its potent antioxidant properties. In fact, Taking just 1 to 8 grams of spirulina per day can yield significant health benefits. So, here's my tip for maximizing the benefits of this superfood, consume it in the evening or before bed. Spirulina is rich in tryptophan, an essential amino acid that helps your body produce serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is crucial for mental health, while melatonin is the hormone that regulates sleep. By having spirulina before bed, you may enjoy better sleep, which is vital for kidney health. While spirulina is fantastic, it's important to note that it may not be suitable for those with autoimmune diseases like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis. However, for most people, the benefits of incorporating spirulina into their diet are too significant to ignore. Just be sure to choose a brand that certifies the purity of the product. And remember, spirulina is also a source of protein. For instance, half a tablespoon, about 3.5 grams, provides around 2 grams of protein. While that might not seem like much, it's essential to keep track of your daily protein intake, including what you get from spirulina. Managing protein levels is crucial for those with kidney concerns. So, are you ready to give spirulina a try and unlock its incredible benefits? Step 2. Never lose hope. Now, let's address a crucial question that I'm sure many of you are asking. Is it really possible to improve your GFR in stages 4 and 5 of CKD? The answer is a resounding yes. 
and this isn't just wishful thinking, it's backed by solid scientific evidence. According to a study published in the journal PLOS-1, which analyzed data from 406 patients with CKD, improvement is indeed possible. The researchers found that 62 patients, 15.3%, showed a sustained improvement in their GFR over time, with an average increase of 1.88 milliliters per minute per year. Remarkably, many of these patients were in stage 5 predialysis and still managed to experience very slow disease progression. So, what does this mean for you? It means there's real hope for improving your kidney health, even in the advanced stages of CKD. It means you shouldn't give up on your kidneys. Instead, you should collaborate with your doctor to find the best treatment plan for your condition. It means you should follow the steps I'm about to outline, which are based on the latest scientific breakthroughs and proven to help slow down or even reverse the progression of CKD. The aim of the study wasn't just to prove that GFR improvement is possible at any stage of CKD, including stages 4 and 5, but also to identify the factors associated with GFR improvement. So, are you ready to discover these life-changing steps? Let's dive in. Step 3. Key Factors Here's a vital question. What factors are crucial for reversing the decline of GFR? In the study we just explored, achieving a higher number of therapeutic targets was directly linked to a greater chance of stopping or reversing the decline of CKD. We need to ensure we're hitting these targets 100%. The study highlighted five key targets. Let's dive into what they are. First, blood pressure. It's evident that managing this is absolutely crucial. Second is proteinuria. Spoiler alert, this turns out to be the most important factor. We'll delve deeper into this later in the video. Third, the use of renin-angiotensin system blockers. Fourth, the number of complications present, anemia, hyperphosphatemia, metabolic acidosis, and hyperkalemia. Addressing these complications made a huge difference. Fifth, diabetes. Managing this is obviously very important. So, how do you achieve the targets outlined by this critical study? Stick around, and we'll break down the steps to hitting each one and improving your kidney health. Let's get started. Step 4. The Targets First things first. Keeping your blood pressure in check is non-negotiable. The experts can't emphasize this enough. Aim for a reading below 130 over 80 millimeters of mercury. It's crucial not to exceed this limit. In my videos, I often dive into natural methods to hit this target, regular exercise, watching your sodium intake, maintaining a healthy weight, and even incorporating specific natural supplements can all make a significant difference. But let's face it, not everyone can manage their blood pressure without medications, and that's perfectly okay. It's not your fault. If you need medication to control your blood pressure, that's completely acceptable, but it's vital to ensure you're using the right ones. Now, this can be a complex subject, which is why I recently dedicated an entire video to it. You can find it up here if you're eager to learn more, and also down in the description. Taking Charge of Diabetes Control Another critical therapeutic target is managing diabetes. According to the study, those who showed improvement were less likely to have diabetes mellitus compared to those who didn't. Unfortunately, having diabetes does make improvement less likely, but it's not impossible. In fact, among the 62 individuals who saw improvements in their GFR, 9 had diabetes. It's essential to note that diabetes can be reversed, and this is pivotal for safeguarding kidney health. 
But wait, there's more. There's a key point coming up that's even more critical than diabetes and high blood pressure. Don't miss it if you're serious about turning the tide on your GFR numbers. Step 5. Managing Complications Complications are the sneaky adversaries that kidney disease brings along for the ride. They're the issues that can deal a serious blow to your kidneys. Think hyperphosphatemia, metabolic acidosis, anemia, hyperkalemia, and elevated parathyroid hormone levels. Each of these complications demands attention if they're present. Here's the kicker. Many doctors tend to overlook these complications, and that's a big problem. Take anemia, for instance. It's a common complication of kidney disease that can lead to fatigue and hasten the decline of your GFR. Shockingly, many patients aren't getting the treatment they need, and some aren't even being tested for it. That's why I urge you to educate yourself about anemia. If you're experiencing symptoms like fatigue, shortness of breath, headaches, or even cold hands and feet, check out my video on anemia. It's linked up here and down in the description if you missed it. Thyroid issues are another often ignored complication, just like anemia. Many people with thyroid problems don't even realize they have them. Hypothyroidism, where the thyroid doesn't produce enough hormones, is especially prevalent in those with CKD. Hyperthyroidism can cause a slew of symptoms, but they can easily be mistaken for other conditions. It's crucial to ask your doctor for a thyroid test. Treating thyroid problems could potentially lead to improvements in kidney function. Hyperphosphatemia, or too much phosphorus in the blood, is a common and dangerous complication often seen alongside metabolic acidosis. Both can be managed with the right diet, think less meat, dairy, fish, and processed foods. Hyperkalemia, or high potassium levels, is another tricky complication. It's a bit of a hot topic because the causes aren't always straightforward. While reducing potassium intake used to be the go-to solution, we now know it's not that simple. Unmanaged diabetes, metabolic acidosis, and certain medications can all play a role. Keeping potassium levels in check is essential for preserving kidney function. If you're dealing with any of these complications, make sure you're getting tested and treated properly. Ignoring them could accelerate the decline of your GFR. Stay informed and proactive, it could make all the difference in safeguarding your kidney health. Step 6. Beat proteinuria. Number 6. This is probably the most important step in order to reverse the decline of your GFR numbers. This step is definitely one of the most important things you can do to help your kidneys. Proteinuria, also known as protein in urine or albuminuria, is the most powerful predictor of kidney function decline in all stages, which means that there is no improving if proteinuria level is not under control. And this is true for people in all stages of kidney disease. So when it comes to proteinuria, our goal should be to keep this level below 30 mg per gram because as we can see here, the higher the proteinuria, the higher the chance of kidney disease progressing to a worse stage. Okay, so how do you make sure your proteinuria is not too high? There are strategies that actually work. There is a vitamin that's needed to keep proteinuria under control. There are foods that can help, and of course, there are medications that can be used. There are actually two new medications that doctors are just starting to prescribe and that can make a huge difference with proteinuria and consequently with CKD. I've covered more about this in my recent video. It's up here and also down in the description. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.